sometimes in Long Island, but he's also from Connecticut most of the year. So Raptor has a little bit of experience with this character, but and has been playing long enough that he absolutely, could, you know, he could play this character, but he's not competing in this character on a regular basis at as high a level as Teapot brings to the table, as we're gonna see here in this matchup. So it's definitely, and you know, where other than Tri-State has Yoshi, right? Teapot isn't here half the time. He's out in, in, Austin, in Houston, Texas. So it's really gonna be a question of who knows the matchup better here. Yeah, yeah, and we see them ban to town and city here as a starter stage, which is not what I would have expected, but with those sides in, maybe we see some earlier kills from both of them. I, I think it makes sense, right? You you want to take, a, you want to put yourself in a position where it's really easy to edgeguard a character like Terry, where you can play a in different space. The platform layer two are really good for Yoshi. He, Yoshi kills strong enough off the top that you don't really care it and neutralizes verticals. Terry's vertical kill power, but at the same time, that horizontal kill power that both these characters bring to the table is still very much present, right? So it makes sense in that I think it's the mo definitely a very neutral stage in this matchup for both characters, but again, it's one of those do you know the matchup? Because if you don't, giving Terry an FD like stage can lead to disaster, and that time, nowhere to go. Raptor just getting caught out by the by the jab jab up special. Right, and we've seen Raptor miss a few punishes here. We saw Terry up B out of shield earlier to hit nothing, and Raptor tried to B reverse his neutral B, but he completely whipped it. Led to him kind of getting body to take that stock. And now he's got to focus up. He's got to finish the stock off on Terry, push him to the edge, but I don't know how well Raptor knows this matchup. Yeah, what we're talking about, I mean, he knows well enough to know the timing and the hitboxes of that power guy, they're dodging it once, but not gonna be, find his way around it the second time. Beautiful positioning from Teapot. And as you mentioned before, you gotta close the stock out on Terry here, and now that go meter being online means if you don't find it like that, you might have been in a time for a world of snowball and trouble, but instead, Terry's kill power is gonna go down the drain. Even still, the oh, Big Easy, the damage has been done. We see Raptor sitting at 102 and well into kill percent here as yes. he tries to find a way to bring himself back at this one. You know, <laughs> I was about to say, and you know, Terry has that go down, so maybe we can see Raptor formulate uh, something. Uh, what? What's he telling us right now? Is, is that? Is that? <laughs> no way. That was a homie stock. That was intentional. I don't think right? it was. He was looks a little bit bothered by that. I so don't know if it sure. was bothered because he dropped immediately and then stared in the camera. There's no way that was. I, I'm confused. I want to go out there right now no, and ask he, I think he's just out. He, he feels like he's a better player. Than him. But he's already up to 111. Right, just eating damage there to build go meter. Er, and regardless of whether it was intentional or not, it might not matter as we see Teapot starting to throw out these power guards <laughs> left, right, and center, trying to find a way, just close this out. Don't let this get away from him. him and keep this one that was so firmly in his grasp from slipping away. And I don't know what to make of this. He's just going nuclear by every definition of the word. Like, just pure chaos. Oh, no, oh. the DI not on point. Raptor not happy with that. Though. Oh no, Wait, did you just hear? We could hear him from here on the other side of the venue just now. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Saying some, yeah. <laughs> some excellent, you know, that man was absolutely a little frustrated yeah. letting that one get away from him. And surprised, I think, that Yoshi back here found the kill there. And, you know, when we get to that point, I definitely want to take a look at that final stop if we have the opportunity because. As, as, I'm really curious if his DI was on. Did he SD here or was it a homie stock? Let's see. That's a homie stock. Yeah. But no. But no, he air dodges. He's confused. Yeah. Or is it intentional? Like the stare makes me the, think it's intentional. Yeah, but the but the air dodge makes me think it's not. Yeah, agreed. I think he might have tried to drop, drop, re -drop, uh, drop, jump, and re grab ledge so he would have the invincibility. Agreed, because it looked like he fast fell as well. Yeah, but. I don't, I don't, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. But now we're seeing a pretty even game between the two. Taking mid stage control at 52 each, but not anymore because Raptor taking some big hits. I really like, uh, like the way Raptor is playing in the spacing of this matchup, right? Do you see how he's playing in this, in this range that is too close for or Terry to really want to commit to one of these burn knuckles because it's such a good burst option, but the startup's there and Yoshi can just drift in and punish you. But then he's playing defensively 
eat in a way where if you try and throw out something shorter range to actually just as a get off angel, he can still fade it back and find a whip punish anyways with this forward air. It's a really creative close mid range range approach here from Raptor that I think is working out well for him, even though Teapot still is the one yes. finding the first stock. Yes, and at the magic percent, he finds the stock exactly to the decimal point, but Raptor's having none of that. Power dive comes out, saving him. Oh, oh no! Man, got go just long enough for it to tell him, go get your next stock, yeah. buddy. <laughs> you don't get to keep this it is treat at all. It's now Teapot's turn to try and find a way to capitalize on a lead once again that he built and once again that vanished before his very eyes, baby. Yeah. I'm starting to think he's cursed. I'm starting to think he's cursed to get the lead and then throw it. Well, if you say that now, he might start winning. Remember, yeah. the commentator's curse is the preeminent one here in the Smash Bros. community. Yeah, but Raptor is making it not so, racking up the damage. I swear every time he B-reverses his neutral B, he lands it. Yeah, I mean, that's my like, B-reversing uh, neutral special here is one of Yoshi's most common tools, especially out of disadvantage, especially when landing, because, it, again, that character's air, air is so incredibly strong. We're seeing, right, just one jump, you can come almost all the way across the stage. It, but B-reverse just allows you to turn that around and completely juke your opponent out. Right, and last week from Raptor, we saw something... Oh. Oh! 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 Yeah, the it was, camera! You, you see Good the way he stared? The it was totally, laughing, yeah. And that confirms for us too. That that last one was totally in a homie yeah. stock. <laughs> The Raptor laughed a little when I saw him do that. I like to think these guys are friends, hopefully. I would hope so, yeah. because otherwise, <laughs> yeah. you, you know, Raptor's either like, if they're not friends, there's two outcomes. There's either Raptor's like, you're the worst, or you're the funniest guy yeah, in the world. Yeah, for real. I'm laughing. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but now Raptor is getting the damage racked up against him. Terry has go, but oh my gosh, three eggs in a row and a neutral air, and he takes it. Man, that man. I mean, trying to give Terry the whole omelet. That, I mean, the way that guy, his muscles are, I mean, he's got to eat a whole lot of protein. But right now, just trying to push you off stage, find a way to close this one out, and not let Raptor repeat last game. You know it's flashing in behind the back of the teapot pilot every time he breaks as he tries to just keep away this damage-dealing dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> and yet, last week when Raptor was here, I don't know if he was testing something new, but we saw him down B out of shield so often, and we're not just seeing that, and we're not seeing that this game. I wonder if Terry's power dive is a little, a little bit too scary to do that. Oh, good DI and he lives. Yeah, good DI plus Yoshi being heavy, plus also by that high town and city blast zone, allowing Raptor one more chance at life as this game starts to draw its way to a close. Oh! The full commitment from T-Bot didn't find it the first time around, but it's going to the second. Sometimes, my friend, you just gotta make like a Beyblade. You gotta spin to win. Terry letting that one rip and closing it on out. T-Pot at least gonna get the game three. Yeah. Gonna give himself a chance to close out a set that you know right now he's feeling like he should have done in two games. Yeah. But I wanna mean, point something out here. That counter pick advantage is not Look in at favor. That. So, do you see it? Yeah, yeah, look yeah. at Yoshi. Look yeah, at Yoshi. It's the f indestructible tail. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, Yoshi can't act right now. Yep. Oh. This is a combo. That's a combo. This was true. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the coolest things you'll see, right? That's level of hit. Yeah. Hit lag. Also the expression. Yeah. And Raptor's gonna have to get over the fact that he just he just kind of blew the game. We saw Terry up be there, Raptor charged a smash attack, and he missed it which would have for sure killed Terry. It was Raptor's game to win, and he couldn't do it. Let's see if that affects his mental here, and he can come back, collect himself, and get the win against T-Pop. And taking himself as well right to a larger stage, PS2, most on-stage space we have here in Ultimate, so giving him time to run away, reset, play outside of Terry's range and make some of these power geysers, some of these buster wolves just a little bit scary because they don't just cover the whole stage the way they may on somewhere like Town City. And throwing the egg into the power dive allowed him enough time to get that neutral B grab and punish with the up smash. And like Devin pointed out before, right, and you as well now, we're seeing these really creative uses of hit lag extensions by both players to create additional opening things. They know each other's positioning is so good, but if they can just barely catch you in in a swing by putting out a, a, something with a hurtbox in an awkward space, 
they can catch you out and try and find a stock just like Raptor tried to do with that egg snipe, but it just wasn't enough here on PS2. Yeah, and between Raptor and John Numbers, my whole stance is changing on best projectiles on the game because we saw Raptor just feel him out with those up Bs, extend that into up airs, keeping him in disadvantage and, then, and eventually grabbing that stock. Yeah, I think it's just the projectiles in general and Ultimate are broken, right? Yeah. Because they just control space while leaving you actionable to do something else. And we're seeing the players who've been around here for a really long time, right? Raptor numbers, both long-time players in the scene, I State scene since Brawl, oh, are so good at create, covering space with their own projectiles, following it up. They're not necessarily gonna optimal combo you left, right, and center, but they are gonna find this pressure with things like Egg there. Did you see it as yep. well at the ledge? Yep. Yoshi actionable as soon as he hit the ground from the NIL, clipping past ledge on that double jump just to slide in under the center, but Teapot still called it out. Yeah, and now it's his neutral to win. Got to work Raptor back up here to kill the whole percent, but the egg roll just getting punished by the crack shoot. And, and then Teapot's not letting it slide. That move's got one, one, one use in Smash Bros. Yeah. Ultimate. There's not a whole lot of bad moves in this game, but unless you yeah. catch your opponent shielding in the corner with egg roll, in which case it is a guaranteed shield break, yeah. that that move loses to everything. And Raptor, I think, getting caught misinputting there, right, to close it on out. Now the pressure to the corner. It's going to be deeper on the turn here, Big Easy. Yeah, most most definitely. And we're going to see Raptor maybe put him up over 100 here, making him a much more lethal. Oh, there's now, that B-reverse. But that B-reverse oh! as well, bringing out the go. And here, right, once again, holding on. But Teapot pressing one too many buttons. You saw the head shake in the player game. He is frustrated with that over-aggressive swing back down because it cost him not only the stock, but as you mentioned, the go. That lethality back down to zero even lower than because he doesn't have rage either. And what a disgusting punish out of the egg by Raptor to be reverse his egg throw into the up air. And then that didn't take the stock, but he was able to come back, read the air dodge and, and take it. And he was spaced there as well, a little too far away. Plus him slight SDI from Raptor there to find his way back out of the jab, going to get away from the rising and crack shoot for just a second. And but this time it's gonna close out the stock. So Teapot giving himself that one last chance. Game number three. Loser gets to fight John Numbers. Or, or sorry, winner gets to fight John Numbers. Yes. Loser gets to go home. But a Teapot still, by right, every set, the pressure is all on him. He's not just because he's behind, but also that homie stock, right? We can't stress it enough from game one. Yes, you yes. know. You know he is feeling that. You know he's kicking himself every single moment for letting that one get away from him. Yeah, 100%. And what's been such tight games in the set, it all comes down to this. What's almost an even game, not quite. Teapot still has some work to do, but once he gets there, what could be a very even game in a game on. Oh, Hold on, getting him at leg. If that was exactly in the corner, my friend, that would have been the stock, but not going to find it. it since getting pressed to maximum Ooh. range and go. See, all uh -oh. it took was one hit, and that's going to be it. No, no, it's not. Surviving just barely. Too much space to cover here on PS2, but it's oh. still going to be t bot turn that's full on scramble. Raptor's going to have one more chance here at the aggression and gonna fight off the down oh. air my friend that move does 35 percent and kills and, kills. and combos and kills. that was crazy. that move does everything that was crazy and i bet teapot he hit that side we had a sigh of release uh, of relief oh finally this game i came back i did it from behind but the di from raptor on point living coming back and then taking the game. And look at that spacing there from Raptor was so good. The feedback from under the platform once again by right, finding you into the juggle, positioning himself am very ambiguously there. You see, dashing between the center stage and edge of the platform, trying to say, hey, are you going center? Are you going the ground? Like, trying to make it very ambiguous. Where is safe? And f here, finally, at the end, just covering in that short hop, neutral get up space. He's, he was high enough that if you get up attack, it covers the stand up animation afterwards. It also covers jump. Just beautiful kind of catch-all option from Raptor throwing out an active hitbox there. But my friend, yes. I know we are at a yes. little bit of an end of the line. It has been an absolute pleasure. Oh, of course, yeah. Always a pleasure. You know, it was nice meeting you. Yeah. I'm sure we'll do this again. I would I would absolutely love that. Um, are you going to stick around till the end of bracket? Uh, probably. Maybe go play some friendlies. Oh, you know, yeah. Improve but I'll, the game. I'll catch you afterwards. Sounds good. And you guys don't have to follow me on anything, but you do have to follow Zeno on Twitch. You do have to sub. 
on Twitch. So go ahead and, and do you that. Also, while you're doing so, go follow at Devin3000 on Twitter and uh, also tweet out FreeHO3K to help us get their Twitter back. Well, so thanks for having me, everyone. Have a good night. <laughs>